All right, so last one. 5, 10, 15, 20, perfect. Real quick. All right, so the last one, here's the one that gets students almost all the time. All the four functions, add, subtract, multiply, divide. Majority of students have it. Domain kind of trips them up, but it's OK. This one is usually where students stumble. And this is the one that we're going to use the most often, though. So it's really important to make sure we understand it. So what f of, well, basically the way that I remember this is the way I remember in high school, which I just remember is fog and golf. I don't know why. I just called it golf. There's no L. but Fog and golf. What that means is composition. So again, as I'm going over to it, if you guys remember, if I said f of x equals 3x plus 1, in your test, I gave you something like this, f of negative 2. What did you do for negative 2? You replaced the input variable x for negative 2. Well, guess what? Now, instead of replacing the input variable for a value, you're now going to replace the input variable with another function. So f of g of x, all that means is f of, shoot, f of g of x. You're right, and you're correct. So what does g of x equal? Well, g of x is square root of x. What is f of x equal? x squared plus 1. So it's going to look like? square root of x over x squared plus 1. So you guys see how the red represents f of x and the black repre represents the g of x? Bless you. So now we go ahead and simplify. The square root of something squared, those are going to undo each other. So we're going to left with x plus 1. Now, since I'm evaluating the composition, I'm also going to ask you, because that's what your homework is going to do, is we're going to ask you, what is the domain of this function? Well, guys, we've talked about our two restrictions. Is there any restrictions on x plus 1? No. We can have any number we want to. So our domain is going to be all real numbers, or negative infinity to infinity. Okay. 